Men of Reddit who got a divorce, what was the final straw? Or did the wife initiate it? For me it was when I was finding reasons not to go home. I'd work ridiculously long hours at work. Took up hobbies I hated looking at you golf just to be away from her. I was sitting in my car. A block away from home. Trying to work up a happy attitude to walk in the door when it finally clicked that this wasn't normal. The final straw was marriage counseling. Listening to her talk about me. Then she couldn't say three things that she liked about me. I was done at that moment. Stopped caring completely. Stopped therapy. And the slow decline towards roommates began. She said I could do so much better than you this was because I couldn't afford to send her 10. Year marriage on a second trip to Bali within a couple years time. While working full time and trying to get a side business off the ground. I built her up for years and this was my repayment. Her freedom was not nearly as fruitful as she anticipated. I moved out into an apartment to get my shit together. After 10 months of living on my own. We initiated a divorce. I actually wanted to work things out. But she no longer wanted to be my wife we were married 29 years. We continue to remain friends and neither one of us is dating or remarried I have no desire to. I also got sober and cleaned up my act. So it turned out to be a blessing in disguise. Years and years of no intimacy. Not helping with home finances then the last straw finding emails of her and the typical guy not. To worry about and sex toys and paraphernalia for sex acts we never do especially since we weren't. Intimate for years. Said it was obvious and I had enough. Decided I'm worth something and deserve better. Worked two jobs. Cleaned the house. Did the shopping. The wash. The dishes. Had to change the baby between jobs because she was too tired all not working. Not TV is exhausting. Then I found out she had a bit on the side and it was because I expected too much from her. And on top of that I was always on call if her parents needed help with anything. Even though my mill was a bigger C than my ex-wife was to me. I had suspicions and did a little sleuthing. Asked a few questions around her workplace. Figured out she was messing with another guy. Straw was her telling me she's planning on going out and crashing at a friend's house. And I pulled lingerie I'd bought her out of her purse. I don't know if they had the opportunity to get physical before that. But her evening plans were obvious. She went anyway. I started the process. Took everything except a bed and lawn chairs. Got my name off the lease. And life was good. I asked the dear Abby question would I be better off with her or without her. Decided that without her my life wouldn't be that different. Except I'd have less laundry to do. And no one would yell at me after work. Totally worth it. We were having a barbecue. Probably at least a dozen guests. I was grilling the burgers when my former wife screamed that our baby needed a diaper change and she was too busy entertaining guests i.e. sitting around getting drunk. So I go upstairs. She follows me up less than minute later and screams at me that the burgers are burning. After over a decade of this kind of behavior. That was the final straw. That's when I decided it was over. Took the kids from the US to her home country without my consent. Then when I tried to sort out custody she called social services and told them I had molested one. Of them and that I should never see them again. That was the final straw for me. She was really good in bed. Just with everyone else. Your dad was better said to a friend of mine by his ex-wife. His ex-wife was one thing but the family betrayal really destroyed him. They never had a good relationship but I can't even begin to imagine a parent doing that to their own child. Well this house is okay. But it's not my dream house. I changed careers for her and moved across the country. A five-bedroom house in a nice neighborhood and that was her comment. She only cared about things. So she could rub them in other people's faces. The things she had didn't matter. 
She only cared about the next thing. The house won was the end. My ex-wife church person felt that it's time to start clubbing and drinking and live a life free of husband and said that she wants to be now married to a pastor's son and having to take care of five kids, three who has not started the divorce, it was more like she did me a favor. I went to individual therapy. And talking about my marriage out loud with someone made me realize how incredibly toxic it was. I went to my then wife and told her that things needed to change if we were to stay together. She straight up told me no. I ran out of money because she refused to contribute and I came home to an empty house. When she finally admitted she no longer desired me sexually. Years of mental abuse. I finally found my damn balls and stuck up for myself. She noticed she lost control and tried to escalate it. So I took the next step. Packed my clothes and left. Plus she was banging her sister's ex-BF. Was married for 12 years. I had suspicions and I finally get enough evidence to prove it. She was sleeping with her ex-husband the whole time we were married. To this day she doesn't know I knew. One day I simply told her I wasn't in love with her anymore and the rest is history. Wife bought a ton of expensive shit without my knowledge or asking me when I was the only income in. The house like tens of thousands of dollars. Then when I confronted her she punched me in the face. Went to couples therapy where she never admitted she was wrong and caught her cheating with the fitness instructor I paid for a month later. Still a part of the prenup got thrown out in court and lost 250k. All because she shed a few pity tears. Dead bedroom. Her ignoring me. And her spending habits. Had to withdraw $8,500 to pay taxes on mutual funds I sold to cover monthly household costs and finally told her I'm not happy about the taxes this year. And not happy in the marriage anymore I moved out a little over a month later. Realizing that every relationship in her life was in tatters and they all couldn't possibly be my fault. I tried to divorce her twice. What I mean by that is I was talking to a lawyer and she eventually got into my head and you things. Will change of course things did not. I started being an ass and eventually she divorced me. Thank God it worked. She was very controlling and manipulative. Their alcoholism. She was found by another family member passed out drunk. Naked and in bed with some dude also drunk naked. I was away on a business trip at the time. It had gone downhill for years. I had initiated a family intervention about the alcoholism. But that was the last straw. She would randomly start throwing things at me as a joke. She threw a vase at my bare foot and I couldn't walk right for a month. I spent that month conspiring every time I had the slightest pain how I was going to move far far away. Mine left me. It turns out the wild time she was just using me to give her children and support her until the kids were old enough for her to go back to work her words. I got primary custody of the kids. It was a long time coming and I should have left earlier than I did. She was emotionally abusive. I grew up being verbally, emotionally, and physically abused. So I just thought it was normal. I was given an ultimatum about kids and gave in. It got so much worse after that. I would drive home every day just wishing I'd drive my truck into a tree and after feeling like that for so long. I just couldn't take it anymore. I didn't want to try counseling or give it time. I was done and told her so.